Yeah, we had a, just had a pretty rough 24 hours. It's been raining like hell all night. And we had lightning and uh, yeah, thunder squalls. We had a lot of rain. No wind and then suddenly 35 knots of wind and rain and so not not so much sleep this this night. So I'm really really tired now. So right now we just have a head sail up because with the squalls, the line squalls coming in, it's not easier to just reap with just a head sail up. Malin, you know how many squalls we had so far? No, I must count. Yeah. There, there have been so many squalls. <sighs> a bit tiring. This is the first heavy one for today. But at least but there's no thunder and lightning in this one. Yeah, last night was... Uh, scary. I thought it was scary because we were in the middle of a thunderstorm and we had lightnings all around us, like in front of us, on the sides, in from the back, just lightnings everywhere. Uh, we were lucky no lightning struck, but yeah, probably it's gonna be the same tonight. Uh, it looks like it. <sighs> Yeah, I thought it was charging uh, not so good any longer. Got a little bit of seaweed. You want to eat it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this is uh, Saragossa seaweed, but we've seen a lot of this so, so far during the crossing. Big, big areas of this uh, seaweed that we've been sailing through. There are stories about ships getting caught in seaweed in the Saragasa Sea, but I don't know if that's as far as south as we are. But Really beautiful sunrise this morning. Take a look. When we were about two weeks into the crossing, the trade winds finally started to settle in. In the last days we made good progress every day and logged many miles. How's it going, Marlene? I'm good. 
I'm editing the next video. A video about the, this crossing. That's some great progress to be able to do, do that at sea. Yeah. I have my sea legs now. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. And it's, I mean, it's pretty windy today. We're doing more than seven knots of speed, so... Uh, but I, I feel fine being down below. Every day at noon, we plotted our position on our big North Atlantic paper chart to see the progress and route that we were making. <laughs> Did I miss a spot? I think so, yeah. Oh, yeah. We have officially less than 500 nautical miles left to Grenada. Yay, yay, yay! It's, it's almost the same amount as when we sailed from the, K, the Canaries to Cape Verde, but now it seems like a piece of cake. <laughs> I mean, sailing over 2,000 nautical miles, 500 isn't a lot. So, I guess we've started to count the days a little bit. And uh, I think a lot of food, different kind of food that I'm, that I want to eat. Um, we have one tomato left. We saved it for a couple of days, but I think we, today we need to eat it. And that's pretty much the last fresh food we have left, so. Okay. Today is a very windy day. We have uh, 20 knots of wind and we're surfing down the big waves. It's a lot of big swell. We've been doing like, I mean, up to 10 knots of speed surfing down the waves. Yuan is now showering in the back of the boat. He just shaved himself. He started to look like a real Viking again. So yeah, another day at sea. was a good 24 hours we've been doing um, 165 nautical miles the last 24 hours wow so that's uh, that's without doubt the the best 24 hours that we had yeah on this uh, leg yeah yeah on this since, trip yeah. yeah since Mandela and uh, if this wind will continue we have around between 20 gusting to 30 uh, 20 gusting to 25 maybe uh, if this will continue with this wind, we will be at Granada on uh, Sunday evening. <laughs> of course, it's in the evening, so if the wind dies, we will have to either enter the bay there at night, which we don't want to do. So if, we're, if the wind dies, we'll probably have to wait out at sea, just bobbing around until the sunrise. So I really hope, because this is a situation, okay, should we slow down or should we try to just go as fast as possible? At the moment we're doing seven and a half knots, so that's pretty quick. So, but we can't do that in average. We need to have a 5.8, 5.9 knots of, uh, over ground. Uh, in average to make it before uh, sunset on uh, Sunday so let's see <laughs> you know but it's Murphy's law so probably yeah you know
perfect sailing now. Yeah, finally some good sailing. Finally some trade wins. Yeah. So now we only have, how much is it? 250 nautical miles left about. Yeah. What do you think have been the best about these crossing? Uh, no, in our case I think it's the, you know, to just get away from everything. No internet, no, uh, you know, only us on a boat, on the ocean for a couple of weeks. Mm. It's been... Uh, like being off the grid. Yeah. It's been really nice. And, uh, you know, you can just relax, read some books. A lot of books. Yeah, a lot of books. A lot of movies, series. Podcasts. Podcasts. Listening to mood music and just taking it easy. Yeah. Cooking some food, bake some bread, making pancakes. And just, you know, yeah, I, living on the ocean. Yeah, and just live in the moment. I don't think that there are many moments in your life when you can have three weeks just doing this, like really doing nothing. Oh, oh that's true. I don't think that happens so many times in a lifetime. So, yeah, it's, it's a special experience, definitely. Yeah, it is. And to live on a pretty small space, just in the middle of nothing, you can't go ashore, you can't go off the boat. That's also special. Yeah. First thing you're going to do when we reach uh, Grenada? Uh, first thing, I want to take a long walk to stretch my legs, and then I want to have a, a good meal. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it, and I'm happy. How big is it? It's 34 meters long and 8 meters wide. So pretty big. <laughs> This passage was a memory for a lifetime and we're so happy and thankful that we got to experience it together. We're so proud of ourselves for making our dream come true and that we've been sailing for nearly a year now and also crossed an ocean together. Are you happy? Yeah. How happy? It's great to be arriving to Granada. Hi to see land. After 18 days, see land again. Yeah, it looks green. Grenada, the Spice Island.
Thank you for watching this episode. And if you liked the video, please give us some love and like, subscribe, and why not sharing it with someone you think would enjoy it. Stay tuned for the next episode of Ron Sailing, straight from the Caribbean.